Now, when we come to homosexuality, our president invited the homosexual and they were groping each other under Ronald Reagan pictures and they were making pictures while they're touching each other and kissing each other, mocking the White House. He was allowing the Muslim to come in there and he declared that the state holiday is the month of Ramadan and it's no longer National Day of Prayer. Christians, you are out. And he declared what? Muslim, you are in. That he keeps saying that he is Christian. Well, what kind of Christianity is this? Is it Christianity or anti-Christianity? This is my view. The people who invited me here, they have nothing to do with it. This is what I declared. <laughs> Romney is for one man, one woman marriage. Let's look at the health care. We need health care in this nation. We really need it desperately. We need some kind of reform. It's a good thing, but let's examine that. He immune the Muslim from the penalty of the health care. But yet he turned against the church and he penalized the church for the same purpose because it does not agree with their faith and their religion. And the other said the same thing, but one was given to be, you know, to get with it and have all they want. And the other one said, no, you could not. What standard is this? If you tell me that you are a Christian, show me your Christianity. Don't tell me you are. Romney is for everyone on the health care. We don't know how it's going to reform, but we, we pray that it's going to reform really nice. How about socializing this nation? Romney believed in the American Constitution. The other one believed in socializing the United States of America. He did not lie. He never said, he never lied to us. But many of us decided not to hear what he wanted to say. We decided without even hearing the truth. We didn't care about truth. We decided. Many churches, white churches, voted for Obama. We're not talking about the black. This is not a black and white issue. This is a Christian church issue. Well, they say Romney is a Mormon. Yes, he is. He didn't lie. Well, I'm not voting for a pastor. I'm voting for a president. One is choosing our Constitution and the people of the United States of America, and one choosing the Islamic world. And he even declared in front of the United Nations, he said word for word in front of the whole nation, he said, those who will come without Islam, without Allah, is not accepted from them. They are not accepted. It's a declaration. We're still wondering, oh, is he? Is he not? <laughs> you can choose this or you can choose that. It's your choice. I'm voting for Romney. Why? Because I vote America and I do not vote Islam. I vote truth and I don't vote lies. I vote America and the fullness of it and the church and not the Arab Spring. Mr. Obama, thank you for waking up the church. We're indebted to you. I could do a series on this one sermon and I could break down each of Kamal's falsehoods. But for this video, this is all I wanted to note. Did you hear him say he was quoting one of the president's speeches to the United Nations word for word? And he even declared in front of the United Nations, he said word for word in front of the whole nation. Great! 
Then let's look at this word for word quote. He said, those who will come without Islam, without Allah is not accepted from them. Those who will come without Islam, without Allah, is not accepted from them. What I want to do here is to give you some quick tools for your baloney detection kit. You can type the sentence into Google, but a couple of red flags should have already gone off. One, why have you never heard about this before? Obviously, we are bad evidence detectors. Uh, but if Obama had said this, the right-wing blogs should have lit up like a Christmas tree. Even if the quote is taken out of context, it would have most likely been picked up by at least the crazies. Two, he has made other crazy statements. He was allowing the Muslim to come in there and he declared that the state holiday is the month of Ramadan and it's no longer National Day of Prayer. Christians, you are out. Three, did you notice the grammar? Let's diagram the sentence. Those is a plural pronoun in the subject of the sentence. Who will come without Islam without Allah is an adjectival phrase modifying those. Is not accepted is the verb. From them is the adverbial prepositional phrase modifying the verb. I know there are several different ways to diagram this. The prepositions should be on the slanted lines, uh, but I did this in Microsoft Paint. Still, did you notice the error? Those is plural, but is is singular. Those should uh, take a plural verb, like are. Also, the correct preposition should be by, not from. The President of the United States is very scripted. Every modern president is. His speeches are largely written and edited for him. If Kamal is quoting the president, word for word, and reading off his notes, why does the president speak Kamal's poor English? I would propose that there are two reasons. One, the president never said this to the United Nations. I've already noted that Kamal is the only source for something the president supposedly said on international television. Two, Kamal wrote the quote himself grammatically incorrect. When you are faking a bad accent, sometimes it is difficult to know where to stop. And for those who want it, he said, those who will come without Islam, without Allah, is not accepted from them.